Today, we're gonna talk about electronic drums. Wait, please stay with me. And the four reasons they deserve a place in your world as a drummer. We're also going to look at one application where I think acoustic drums might still have the edge. Let's get into it right now. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to subscribe for all things drumming. If you are back for more, thank you. Now, electronic drums can be a touchy subject. After all, I fell in love with drumming, beating on a head with a stick and feeling that sound resonate through my body. It's primal. Look, it took me a while to come around to electronics. Why did I even try them in the first place? Simple reason, I wanted to be able to play my drums anytime, day or night. More recently, it was to be able to access the unbelievable library of sounds and the flexibility that's available to drummers now. E-drums have grown leaps and bounds over the decades, and there's no denying the technology. In fact, don't we embrace the latest technology in other aspects of our lives, our houses, our cars, our phones? So why this resistance to change? Because it's unfamiliar, it's confusing. Let's face it, it's cool to be the last old school drummer on the block who doesn't need all that crap to sound good. Okay, well, you don't have to completely abandon your acoustic drums altogether. I, mine are right here. I haven't really played them that much lately though. But keep an open mind and let's go through the four reasons to consider giving electronic drums a place in your setup. And then we'll look at one big reason to keep your acoustic drums around. First reason to think about electronic drums, the feel. My biggest resistance to e-drums in the beginning was thinking that nothing was ever gonna feel quite as natural as an acoustic drum kit. I got my first electronic drums in 2010 and I was right. It was these dense rubber pads and it just didn't play like an acoustic kit. The rubber pads had a dead thud that actually hurt if I played too long, but I could play anytime I wanted. Fast forward to just a couple of years ago, and I finally tried a mesh head electronic drum kit. The feel was totally different. Now I'm playing on heads that feel much more like a traditional kit. They have good rebound and the head tension is tunable so I can dial that feel in. The cymbals have bow and edge zones. They're chokeable, the ride has a bell. My newest kit are Roland V drums and they take it further with even better feel and durability. I can play cross stick on the snare, the hi-hats mounted on a traditional hi-hat stand. And that's a big deal. We can pull a lot of nuance out of the hi-hats. I can even splash with my heel. The head are more sensitive and expressive. I get true rim shots. I get a lot of detailed nuance out of the snare. These drums are super comfortable to adjust and to play, and they really do give me the feel of an acoustic drum kit. The second reason to look into electronic drums, the sounds. At the end of the day, the drums are an instrument designed to make sound. Without that, what are we even doing? The first time I sat down behind these drums, put my headphones on and stomped on the kick drum, I heard the snares rattle just like they do on an acoustic kit. That's when my world changed. My brain was actually tricked into believing that I was behind a traditional acoustic drum kit. Modern electronic drum kits give drummers access to an enormous library of professional studio grade sounds. That's not to say that every electronic kit out there comes with a module loaded up with great sounds that are ready to perform or record, but there are many that do. The quality and variety of drum sounds varies greatly. My V drums do have some great sounds that I would use to record and perform. I'm able to adjust the levels, EQ, compression, reverb. I'm able to tune the drums that actually changes the pitch of the drum. I can even load my own samples into the module to trigger. There are always a lot of wild kits loaded into e-drum modules that I would probably never use to record or play out, but they can be a lot of fun and inspiring to scroll through when I'm looking for ideas. And hey, if you want to hear some of the kits that are loaded into the TD-17, there's a link in the description to a playlist where I demo a lot of those drum kits. Now, if I want access to more sounds and even better quality, there is software out there that delivers and it's unbelievable. I use Superior Drummer and it is incredible. It has a library of some of the best drums in the world recorded with the best mics in the best studios and by the best sound engineers on the planet. I connect my drums to the computer via USB and I trigger the software with MIDI. Now, using the software to get access to all those professional grade sounds means that I don't have to pour a ton of money into a really expensive drum module. The software isn't cheap, but I think it's worth every penny and it costs a lot less than some of the premium drum modules. I can build my dream kit, adjust microphone placement, room type, room size. There are so many options, it can almost be too much. So I typically start with a base kit that's all set, mic'd up, ready to go. It's got overhead mics, effects, compression, reverb. Tweak it a little bit from there. 
Once I've got everything recorded, I really don't usually have to do much to the final drum mix, maybe a little tweaking and polishing, but it's pretty good to go right out of the box. That leads us to our third reason for adding electronic drums to your setup, workflow speed and flexibility. When I use a kit and superior drummer, it's ready to go. The drums always have fresh heads, they're tuned properly, overhead mics, kick drum inside and outside, snare top and bottom, there's microphone bleed, everything's mixed, EQ'd, everything's compressed. This gives me an enormous head start in production. The quality of sound that I get instantaneously would take me hours to achieve using professional gear in my home studio. All of this saves me an enormous amount of time and money for that matter, maintaining my drums and getting a great sound. And the fact that I'm just recording MIDI data instead of actual sound waves gives me unrestricted flexibility. I can work on a song, I can come back a year later and decide to switch drum kits. Electronic drums give me a faster, simpler workflow with more flexibility and better sounding results than I ever could have imagined. And now the fourth reason to add electronic drums to your setup, ability to practice anytime, any place that has electricity. I got my first electronic kit when I was living in an apartment building in South Florida, and there was no way I was getting an acoustic kit in there, let alone playing it without getting evicted. But I needed to be able to play. I'm a drummer, I need that outlet. Problem solved. Now I can come sit down and throw some headphones on anytime I want, day or night. The urge to play or inspiration typically show up at weird times for me. I can fully rock out as much as I want and the only sound that I make is the stick hitting the pad and that's not a lot of noise. My daughter's asleep, no problem. Neighbors living within three quarters of a mile, bring it on. Playing whenever and wherever I want was the reason I tried electronic drums in the first place. So those are the four big reasons to use electronic drums. Now let's look at that one application where acoustic drums still have an edge, playing live. I can take my acoustic kit into any venue in the world. The sound engineer is going to mic them up, do a sound check, and have the ability to adjust my levels and sound individually throughout the entire show. Even though most electronic kits will allow me to adjust the levels and sounds in the module internally, most of the affordable modules are going to have a two-channel stereo output. Now that means that if I want multi-channel tracks out to the soundboard, I have to go all in and invest in a very expensive module that's going to have individual outputs for each channel. Now I have done this and it worked great, but it's very expensive gear, especially if it's going to be roadworthy enough to survive being dropped, kicked, tripped over, and set up and torn down every single night. With a modest drum module that has a stereo output, yes, I could work with the sound engineer at Soundcheck and I could dial one, maybe two kits in on the module itself, but I'm going to be very restricted for making adjustments throughout the show. I have looked into running Superior Drummer in a live situation, but the equipment needed would again be very expensive. We're talking a dedicated computer, a separate audio interface, and we would probably be introducing latency to the equation. And finally, there's the issue of monitor mix. I would like to think that all musicians know how critical it is to have at least some drums in their personal monitor mix. But let's face it, we've all had that band member who wants to hear nobody but themselves on stage, and they think it's up to everybody else to follow them. Those are called guitar players. With an acoustic drum kit on stage, you are at least going to be perceptible to the rest of the band. So, electronic drums. In the studio, it's a no-brainer for me. Live, I think there's definitely room for improvement. What do you think? What are your experiences with electronic drums in the studio, on stage? Leave a comment down below and let's talk about it. Now check out one of these videos to hear examples of Superior Drummer and Roland V Drums kits being played. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon.